the University of Iowa tonight reminding all students they cannot remove or deface messages left by another organization. That's right. The Iowa College Republicans wrote messages in chalk on the Pentecrest yesterday, and moments later the writing was washed away by students who disagreed. Well, tonight Iowa City reporter Travis Breeze is live for us with more on the conservative group on campus and the school response. Ron and Abby, the group was majorly worried because they were facing a threat of a suspension because they did this without wearing face masks yesterday. Well, that threat of suspension has since been retracted, but the group says that this still shows how conservative students are silenced on campus. You never see conservative stuff written on campus. Dozens of college Republicans met on the Pentecrest Tuesday night to share their values. I thought... Right before finals week, everyone could kind of take a break from studying, kind of get together and meet each other because none of us had really met in person yet. They wrote pro-police and pro-life messages. President Mackenzie Jones says it was nothing negative. A few minutes after they finished, some other students erased the messages. We kind of expected it, maybe not like three minutes after we had finished it. A few hours later, she got an email that they were facing a possible suspension. The university did say this was for COVID safety reasons and not political. I'm vaccinated and I know a lot of my uh, members are also vaccinated. So to me, it wasn't something that I was too worried about. On Wednesday, the university retracted the suspension, saying they were following CDC guidelines. Now that the dust has settled, Jones just hopes there can be space for multiple viewpoints on campus. If they want to do that, that's fine. We put a lot of hard work into this, but. Um, it's just chalk. A spokeswoman for the university saying student life is reminding students today that overwriting, erasing, defacing, or altering existing chalking is prohibited by anyone other than the person or organization who did the chalking. Now, I learned just about a half hour ago that that mass email did not go out to students today, but they plan to send it out tomorrow morning. Live in Iowa City, Travis Breeze, News 7, KWWL. Yeah, Travis, thank you very much. College campuses are for lots of, lots of viewpoints. Yeah, the Iowa Senate also sent a bill to the governor's desk today, which would further protect free speech for all students and limit free speech for faculty. Also, the bill passed the Senate unanimously today and also the House with only one no vote.